Welcome back, art students. Okay, so we are at the part now where we're gonna do the last one down here in the corner. And you might be wondering, well, what is next? All right, Georgia O'Keeffe was really fascinated by seashells. Okay, so I think we will try doing a seashell. Here is a really cool one too that she did. It's like a spiral. Let me find it. This one's really cool. All right, so we're gonna try doing some seashells. Follow along. Let's go ahead and let's draw one first. Just like my skull, I'm gonna draw with a pen so you can see my lines better. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Okay, so for the shell, we're gonna start at the bottom. And there's like a very bent um, U shape down here. And that comes right on up. And then right about here, it starts getting really bumpy. Over here. Little bumps. This one's actually chipped, which is kind of a fun character characteristic. Goes off the paper. Okay. Then we have another line down here, comes like this. If you wanna try making a different seashell, you're more than welcome to try it out. I'm gonna do some straight lines that come down. A lot of vertical lines. My pen stopped working, oh boy. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> My pen's not working. I may have to try something else here. Hmm. How about another one? Oh, reach. There we go. All right, so we get our straight lines here coming down. And that will be our seashell, okay? And now, most of the color is inside of your seashell. And then um, we'll try doing some fun gray colors in the background. All right, so let's go back into our watercolor paint now that we have drawn our seashell. And I'm gonna do my seashell with some red. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my red here. We're gonna do a little red up here towards the tips. We're gonna draw some lines coming down this way and we're gonna draw some lines coming over this way because there's kind of like a pattern that happens in seashells. Even though the vertical lines go up, they have horizontal patterns that kind of go this way. And even though I used red, I'm going to invite, I'm washing out my brush right now, I'm gonna invite some orange. I'm loading up my brush right now, some orange. Okay, I'm loading up my brush. I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna mix it in a little bit with my red so I get more of a reddish orange color. I'm mixing on my painting. I'm not mixing in my color pods. And I really like that coloration of this red orange. Now that I have that color kind of laid out, I'm gonna take plain water in my brush now. I washed out my brush, plain water in my brush. And I'm just going to start applying some extra water in areas. And I'm going to let the water make some choices for me. I'm trying to keep all of my color contained in my seashell. And I'm letting the water create lighter areas. So 
So I'm letting the water have fun right now on its own free will to kind of move around. I'm just poking it with some plain water in my brush to see what it what it wants to do. But I don't want to overwork it with the water. I don't want to let it get too loose. Okay. And I think I might invite just a touch of brown. Let's do some brown in there. Wow, that did a lot. Wow, that did a lot too. But you know what? I like it. There, I really like that. I like this pale area up here. And I like how this brown really just kind of played around in there by itself. That looks so cool. I'm going to leave it just like that. I love it. Oh, it's so satisfying. Okay, now what we're going to do is do the background. And I'm just going to use plain old black. I'm washing out my brush. I'm going to go into my black. Now black is the most powerful color that there is. Now be, you be very careful with your black. You're going to start by doing the black on the very outside. like this, okay? Then wash out your brush and use just plain water in your brush and you're going to create a gray and just have fun pulling out, just pulling out that color. Now have try to have control of where your water is going. Be very, take your time. Try to have control of that water. Plain water, just use plain water. I went back to get more water. It's so cool watching it go around. Some of the color in your seashell may get out of the cage and it might come out and that's okay but don't let it get too out of hand, okay? There we go, that's perfect. I love this. All right, and there we are done. We're gonna let that dry. Now be very careful because all the water on that one, you don't want it to move around and wiggle. So when you're carrying your art, try to carry it as calm and slow as possible when we're setting it on the drying rack. And then we're all done with our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired artwork. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's awesome. Each and every one turned out so amazing. Good job, art students.